hello guys welcome back to this channel thank you for stopping by again today i'll show you how to make this beautiful skirt i previously created this design for a friend of mine and a lot of people loved it and i thought to show you guys how to go about it so let's get started so for this project we are going to be making use of an african print about a yard of that and also we are going to be making use for the main uh, material we're going to be making use of a crepe fabrics so guys i will start by drafting a basic skirt pattern on this plain sheet and first thing first i'm going to draft or draw out the starting line and next i'll begin by measuring out all the vertical lines that would need for this skirt and the first um, point that i would mark or draw out is actually the hip line and for this case it is nine inches the distance between the waist to the hip is nine inches in this case and for the length of this skirt i'm going to be using 16 inches this is going to be a mini skirt okay so i'm going to be using 16 inches for the length of the skirt so right here is the waistline and this next line is the hip line and the last line on this pattern paper is the skirt length next i'm just going to go ahead and measure out the horizontal measurement that is the circumference of the waistline here and i'll go to the hip line and measure the circumference of the hip line divided by four of course because the paper is folded okay so and here whatever i have on the hip line i'm going to minus one from heat and then i'm just going to go ahead and join or connect the point together so here i'm just connecting the dots together from the hip line to the skirt length and next thing i'm going to do is to give this area a proper curve and cancel the previous line okay i just want you to have a proper curve and the next thing guys is to add allowance to this piece and remember we're going to add that to the waist area okay so i'm adding an extra one inch for that and on the hip line and the skirt length i added one inch allowance seam allowance to that area then i'm just going to go ahead and connect it all together And so right here, I'm just adding 1.5 inches to the bottom of the skirt to serve as our aiming allowance so that we'll be able to fold the skirt later on, okay? So I'll just do that and connect the dots together. And what I'm doing here is to remove 1.5 inches from the skirt right from the top there. I'm just going to mark 1.5 inches and remove that from the skirt because I decided to add a band to the skirt so this part has to go off for me to be able to put a band on it and with that i'll just cut out this pattern and the next thing to do right here is just to um, draft the dart out so i'll just go ahead and create a dart for this skirt pattern so here i just place the front piece on a new pattern paper so as to create the back piece i left some allowance for the zip and i'll just go ahead and cut out this piece so that we can have our back piece and right here guys we have the back piece and so here guys i will be pinning the pattern on the main fabrics and i'll be cutting it out and here guys i folded the fabrics into two and i measure the waist circumference on this material and this is going to form our band and i'll just notch it at the center and here at the top of the skirt i left half an inch seam allowance 
to join the skirts with the band. And the next thing we are going to do is to cut out the details of the skirt. And here I have um, a square pattern of six by six inches. You can use seven by seven inches. Just get a square and we are going to use it to cut the African print part of the skirt. And here I will just fold the African print into two and I will be placing the square pattern on it and I will use it to serve as guide while cutting out the shape. And afterward, you would have something like this. And so guys, here is the back piece of the skirt and I'm just going to pin it together all the way down. And the next thing I'm going to do right here is to take in the dart for the back and also do the same for the front. So I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and do just that. And right here is the skirt after taking in the dart. And the next thing to do is to put the skirt in shape by taking in the same allowance that we left at each point. And I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and do just that. And here it is after sewing in the seam allowance on both sides. And the next thing I'll do here is to connect the band to the skirt. And guys, here is the band. I added interface to this uh, band to give it structure. And I went ahead to fold half an inch of both sides of the band. Then I folded it into two again. And this is how it's looking like so we'll go ahead and join this band to the skirt so here is the skirt after attaching the band and i also went ahead to also fold the down part of the skirt. And the next thing to do is to insert a zipper to the skirt. So here guys, I've already inserted the zipper and I decided to close the back vent. And guys, the next thing we are going to do right here is to sew all the edges of this square and we are going to leave an opening for us to turn it out. And I've gone ahead to do just that and I'll be turning it out through this opening. But first of all, I'll cut off all the edges so that we'll be able to have a pointy shape at the end of the day. So here guys are the pieces I had made and I've already gone ahead to turn them inside out and stitch to close the opening where we turn them so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and attach it to our skirt all right guys so here i will just try to lay my skirt flat and i'm going to be picking each of the pieces i will fold it it's actually best that you iron it in this shape so that it's well aligned okay and i'm going to be placing each on the front of the skirt if you like you can place it all the way to the back of the skirt but for this project i'm just going to be laying them at the front piece alone so here i just measured what i have on the front piece of the skirt and the next thing i will do is to place my tape through at the edge of the skirt and i'll start measuring one inch all the way down These lines will serve as guide while placing each piece on the skirt. So here I just picked a piece and I folded it into two and I will be placing it directly on the line that we marked and we are going to sew on it on that straight line that we marked.
so guys this is what the skirt is looking like and this is the back piece i didn't add any details to the back piece you can actually go ahead and do that to yours so guys you have to give it a very good press to make the details sharp and well relaxed and i love how full this piece is it's so beautiful and guys if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up it will go a long way